so much to say, but I gotta try to keep this video small. Okay, so yesterday was another day I was supposed to call the car dealer and see if he's found an Impala. So I called, nothing again. Okay, in the meantime, I went and looked on the internet and found one. One that was local and uh, close to Kansas City, but in Kansas. And so I uh, called them, they had it, asked about it, had a clean title, 3.8 engine, plus it was the color of the original car that I saw in 1999 that I wanted. Okay, so this one was a, the same color. When I looked at it, I recognized it to be the one that I saw in the car lot in 1999. Not the same car, but I mean the same color. So anyway, I called him back up, um, the car dealer, and uh, told him about this car that I saw and all that. And so I wanted to know if he would go ahead and buy the car from me and I would take the money up there and buy that car. Or uh, if we go ahead and sign the title and then I weigh, that way I had the title in order to sell the car or do a trade-in. And I called them ahead of time and they said that they would look at the car and, and see what kind of deal they could make me for a trade-in. He's telling me, the car dealer I bought it from, that I don't need the uh, title, that I just tell them that it's e-filed, you know, electronic title, and uh, they can still do it. And if they don't give me very much, like the last one, one to give me $1,000 for it, he would give me a better deal. He would buy it for $2,000, okay? So I end up um, going up there. It took me two hours to get up there and two hours back. Steve drove because in Kansas City, the traffic's so bad. I don't want to do that. I don't like traffic like that. It scares me. So we had the GPS, and we went up there, and we found it. Get there, the guy goes like, I can't buy the car from you. You ain't got a title. You ain't got a registration. You ain't got nothing. So I called the car dealer again and told him that they wouldn't even, they won't even touch this because I ain't got even a registration. And then he starts telling me, he goes like, that's stupid. I don't know why they can't do it. They should be able to do it. And anyway, I had him on speakerphone, okay? So I had him talking to the other guy. And he didn't argue with the other guy, but he just goes like, I don't understand what's going on. You should be able to look at the car and do a deal, you know, do a trade-in. So anyway, then I'm talking to him and he goes like, your wife came in here the other day, you know, last month and got the title for the car. And I go, no, she got the title for her car, the Impala, not mine. Mine had a 60-day tag on it. So it wasn't due until next month of getting the title changed over and everything. I said, I went up here for nothing. I am not going to be able to get a car because I can't do a trade-in. I said, I'll go ahead and buy this car if you go ahead and buy the car back. So I could take that money and send it to the credit cards. And he said, okay, fine, I'll buy it, but then I'm done with you and I'm done with this whole thing. He was so rude and they heard it. I'm thinking like, you don't want to buy this Ford. I'm saying in my head, you don't want to buy this Ford Taurus back. The whole time, you act like you want to buy it back and it's a great car and all that. But every time I turn around, you want me to trade it in for a car, you don't want it back. It's a 2005. As far as I can tell, there's nothing wrong with the guys. I have drove it. Everything's great about it. Great gas mileage. Drives wonderfully. Doesn't make any sense. It's like a hot potato. He doesn't want to touch it. And it's starting to piss me off because I'm thinking, what the fuck is going on? Why are you being this dick? And they even said, well, he sounds like a shady guy to me. He didn't get to hear this. Now, he apologized when I came in today to bring the car. And he gave me the $2,000, and I sent it on to the credit card. So they, the money goes right back to where I bought the car. The car costs $2,445. Okay? Uh, the air conditioner doesn't work on it, and I could have paid uh, $2,999, and they would fix it for me. I said, never mind. I'll, I'll fix it myself. I'll buy another air compressor, put it on there, fill it up with Freon. I'll do it myself. I've done it before. Never put the free on before, but I have replaced the air, uh, air compressor. And they said that's probably a cheaper way of doing it anyway. So I went ahead and got it, but with tax and all that, I paid three uh, 2800 and something dollars. Okay, because you have tax and all that. So, gas it up, brought it home, made it on E, because <laughs> I didn't put a whole lot in it. And I did get lost because Steven kept going round cars, round cars, round cars. I don't know why he didn't just stay the speed, stay behind people. Why does he got to do that? And I'm following him. So I have to go around the cars just like he is. So it pissed me off. I decided to go ahead of him. I didn't know we had a turn off. So I kept going straight and he turned right off. That was sucky. But I made it back. I made it back 
a little bit after he got here already. The car is wonderful. In the next video, I'll show you what it looks like. Love this car. It has all the other. It has heated seats in it. It's got the uh, the OnStar. It's got all sorts of things that the other one doesn't have. And I'm very happy with this car. Air conditioner, I'll get it fixed. But at least I got my dream car and I got rid of that stupid Ford. I'm sick and tired of that damn car because it's a Ford. I don't like it. Okay? So, and I don't know why you didn't want to take it back, but I'm telling you, I'm never going to buy a car from him ever again. Ever. Period. Done with him. I'm going to go to that Maryland or whatever it's called, that town by Kansas City. And I'm going to, I've never been there before. I just want to have the name memorized. But I'm going to go back here and I'm going to buy a car anytime I need it. They were nice. They were kind. They they answered all the questions. They weren't being like this. And he had the car dealer had an excuse that his sister somebody had to go to the hospital. He's on the phone with them and all that. But you know what? I'm not even buying it. Okay. He came up with an excuse because he was pissed off. He didn't want to buy the car back. Okay. That is my hunches, my feelings, and I've never been wrong. This guy's shady. All right. You guys have a good one. Take care and God bless.